at uh, just outside Chicago at Argonne National Laboratory at their advanced dino cell. And uh, we're doing the last stage of the XPRIZE competition, which is verification in a laboratory environment that everything we saw on the track is real. A dynamometer is essentially a treadmill for cars. It's a piece of equipment that allows us to do very precise testing in a controlled environment to get a very precise answer of the fuel economy, or in this case for electric cars, the energy efficiency, so that we're able to compare car to car and make sure that if indeed a car is slightly more efficient than the other car, that it's, it's an artifact of the actual vehicle and not because of the test conditions. When you go through this kind of standard rigorous testing procedures, you've got a set of data that's robust, uh, it's defensible, uh, it's repeatable and allows you to be compared. That's why we felt that this testing should be uh, half of the total score. To be on a dyno is, um, is a real advantage. Our company is uh, much too small to have uh, such a, a own dyno or the possibility to go on the dyno. So this is um, really a positive uh, thing for us to, to go on a dyno and get data that are comparable to other vehicles or to existing data. When an advanced car comes to the marketplace, what's that EPA window sticker going to look like and what's that number going to convey? But no matter what it does and what it says, those numbers are going to come from a dynamometer test. In the end, that's the number that people are going to report. That's the number that everyone's going to hang their hat on. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw numbers uh, in the earshot of 200 miles per gallon equivalent. I think that these vehicles really give us a sense of what's possible now and that these cars could really be game changers for the future.